Welcome to OpenJS World 2021. I'm Robin Ginn, Executive Director of the OpenJS Foundation, and pleased to be joined by our Chair of our Board of Directors, Todd Moore. Hi, I'm Todd Moore, and in addition to my leadership role at the OpenJS Foundation, I lead the IBM Global Team working to develop uh, open technologies and open communities. Now, Todd, you and I have been working in open source for a long time. Let's just say we have some historical perspective. Yes, uh, JavaScript, as an example, was created over 25 years ago. And uh, just for per perspective, uh, at that time, Google was just getting started and Amazon sold its first book. Uh, today, 96% of the world's websites depend on JavaScript, and it's the number one programming language if you look at surveys from Red Hat and Stack Overflow. Yeah, and you know, representing this enormous developer ecosystem is truly a humbling and awesome responsibility. JavaScript is used by millions of developers around the world. It is. Uh, you know, to get a hint of the future, though, I think we, we need to look back um, a little bit. Let's look back 100 years, um, definitely before our time. Definitely before our time. So the roaring 20s, the decade of change, the return to normalcy following the war and the pandemic sparked dramatic changes across um, economies and societies. Uh, the widespread availability of electricity changed the way that people lived and worked. Radio and television connected people around the world. And women in the U.S. finally won the right to vote. Yet, you know, there still continues to be an uphill battle on civil rights for many. Uh, fast forward, 2020. Wow, it was challenging in so many ways to our hosted communities at the OpenJS Foundation. The pandemic, it took a toll on our families and businesses. Yet it was uplifting to see how our communities joined in the fight against inequality and bias in society. So moving forward, will we see the same rate of advancements today in technology and society? Can we keep a 25 year old technology relevant for the future? Can we overcome systemic bias in the tech industry? We believe we can. You know, we are on the precipice of a another set of boom years for JavaScript. And this is evidenced by the diverse multi-stakeholder communities that make up the OpenJS Foundation. Um, we're a global community. Um, just two years ago, we created this uh, foundation through the merger of Node.js and the JS Foundation. And now look, we have 37 JavaScript projects. They include uh, important projects such as Node.js, AMP, Electron, jQuery, Webpack, Node Red, Appium. And for me, the pandemic brought us closer together, you know, with our coworkers, dogs and kids on Zoom. But what's great is that we are a member supported organization with companies like IBM, Google, Joint, Microsoft, GoDaddy, Netflix, and more. You know, they provide the financial support and active involvement in our governance process. And, you know, we're really uh, fortunate to be joined by new members supporting us. American Express, Coinbase, Bloomberg, Node Experts, and Stream joined us as silver members. Um, and then we were thrilled that Netflix is now a gold member of our foundation. You know, JavaScript is so core uh, to these companies' leadership positions in the market. And by supporting OpenJS, they're supporting the infrastructure and long-term growth of these open source JavaScript projects that they rely on. You know, the, the pandemic also brought us closer to our end users, um, our OpenJS projects. Uh, we saw a dramatic spike in the online commerce and, and digital delivery of healthcare and education. Um, JavaScript is just so essential to so many organizations today. Um, let's take a closer look at Netflix. As an end user and contributor to the Node.js project since 2013, and one of the largest scale Node.js deployments in production, um, you know, with COVID pandemic, uh, I can only imagine the extra heavy workload on the IT infrastructure over the past year. Uh, Netflix runs a serverless Node.js platform that powers all the devices and user interfaces and all use cases for web applications to support content production. Um, you know, I urge you to tune into Netflix breakout session with my fellow board member, Guilherme Hermeto, uh, who will share Netflix's tips on how to improve your service performance. Um, we continue to see JavaScript projects maturing, providing stability, 
and with new projects being released, uh, innovating in so many ways. Let's take a look at a few milestones from our project communities. AMP shipped its plugin for WordPress. Appium 2.0 will soon be moving from beta to final release with exciting use cases across major consumer devices, including Samsung, Tizen TVs, Roku, and Chromebooks. Electron shipped B13 with several updates. And wow, ES Lint, they, they release frequently and they even have a triage board if you wanna help out. WebDriver V7 celebrated a rewrite of its complete code base in TypeScript. Webpack 5 continues to stabilize and add new features. And wow, lots of action in the Node.js community with its major release of Node 16. Um, and Node.js also has a mentorship initiative with an opportunity with the NAPI Working Group. And Node.js uh, also has a free training course to support the uh, Node.js certification program. You know, the growth and stability of Node.js is often attributed to the longevity uh, of the foundation that supports the project now, right? Um, companies can bet on building their businesses with Node.js because, you know, the Node.js maintainers entrusted with the project um, ensure that it's remained neutral. Um, this has helped overcome fractures among contributors and the code base. And, and the Node.js project is a healthy community supported by a diverse set of companies that have increased the scale and commercial adoption of this project. Companies like Bloomberg, Netflix, Uber, NASA, and, and many more. I encourage you to check out the keynote that Joe Seppi from IBM and Beth Griggs and Michael Dawson from Red Hat um, will have today uh, where they share their experiences in making Node.js project more open. There is much to celebrate every day across our portfolio of JavaScript projects at OpenJS. And today we're having a kind of a graduation party of sorts for our projects who are uh, graduating from the incubation project. So I bet we have a lot of NVM users watching. Um, NVM or Node Version Manager is the widely used method to install Node.js and manage multiple versions. So I just wanna thank uh, our, the lead maintainer, Jordan Harban for putting his trust in the OpenJS Foundation for this important project. Happy graduation NVM. And we're thrilled to have our friends um, at NativeScript graduate. NativeScript is an open source community-driven framework that empowers JavaScript devs to access native platform APIs directly. Devs love this because it streamlines their development experience. Happy graduation, NativeScript. So also today, um, we welcome a new project into incubation, one that's near to my, dear to my heart, Loopback. Um, we're excited to bring it into the OpenJS Foundation. Loopback is a popular Node.js framework for API creation and a platform to build large-scale Node.js applications. Uh, it uses proven patterns with TypeScript and uh, is really a first-class citizen. Um, it also supports SOAP and enterprise databases. Um, Loopback is supported by IBM and a broad community outside of it. And uh, today, almost half of its pull requests come from community members, which is really amazing. So. I'd also like to talk about Collaboration Network. Um, our technical communities also work across projects on areas where they share obstacles and opportunities. Um, much like special interest groups that you find in other organizations, collaboration spaces are meant to help the community-led efforts reach broader audiences and coordinate stakeholders from across the JavaScript ecosystem. Our new Collaboration Network initiative is already taking shape. And um, we approach these groups just like we would any OpenJS project. I, I think that's really important um, because security is always a high on uh, everyone's priority list, especially these days. Uh, we recently launched the package vulnerability management and reporting collaboration space. Um, we have project maintainers who are experienced in significant influx of issues um, when a new CVE is reported on popular libraries in our ecosystem. Um, and they hope to manage these more efficiently and effectively to increase the trust in the relationships among security companies, researchers, maintainers, and the collective end users of our community uh, and consumers of our uh, projects. So let's look more closely at the OpenJS Foundation. Our goal is to incubate and sustain a healthy JavaScript ecosystem. Uh, we're a neutral home that advocates for programs and policies that support open and healthy communities who use and build our projects. Um, so, uh, 
course, diversity, equity, inclusion are clear priorities at OpenJS. Yet we recognize we have a long way to go. So as part of um, these our ongoing efforts to foster a more inclusive uh, space to collaborate, we put some more structure around our DEI programs. So drawing on the leadership of the Inclusive Naming Initiative, um, our foundation and projects have taken action to remove harmful language in our GitHub repos in a consistent way across the industry. Um, we really invite you to participate in our cross-project council DEI working group so we can better understand issues facing underserved communities and take clear actions to make progress. Our Node.js training and certification is a practical way to serve a borderless economy and up level your skills. Um, the certification program was developed in partnership with NodeSource and Nearforum. is a great way to showcase your abilities to the job market and allow companies to find top talent. Um, we found that this program is already making a difference in developers' lives. Um, Prosper Opara, a junior full stack engineer at Demos Cloud in Nigeria, recently shared his experience with the Node.js certification. Uh, Prosper said the certification greatly helped improve his confidence in his skills and as a Node.js developer and as a team member um, so that they had more trust in him uh, when it was related to the Node.js project since he was now certified. So to provide greater access to the foundation and projects wherever you may live, we've created a new individual supporter program called JavaScript Landia. At $25 yearly, the program provides benefits such as a digital badge to add to your online profiles, recognition on our OpenJS website, community updates, discounts on training, certification, conferences, and other exclusive offers. And today we're also launching our dedicated JavaScript Landia website where you, uh, if you remember, can collect badges from your favorite uh, OpenJS JavaScript projects. And hey, if you remember, you can even get a limited edition OpenJS World 2021 badge. So go visit this wonderful world at javascriptlandia.org to sign up. Well, and I'd also like to mention, you know, governance and accountability. You know, why is an open source foundation like OpenJS so important? Um, so let's talk about neutrality. Um, and the role that foundations play. Neutrality ensures that no one company controls a piece of open source technology that many depend upon. Um, it also provides an environment where many will come to support that project. It speeds the innovation by making it easier for all to contribute. And through a clear, transparent project, uh, project government, governance is maintained. Uh, OpenJS has a separate technical and business governance. We do this deliberately. Uh, so that we have a thorough separation between contributing dues as a member and achieving technical influence. Uh, we've seen more open source community leaders advocate for hosting important technologies under a neutral foundation, and that's exactly what we've done here. Let's take a look at open governance in action. Following up on Matteo Colina's tweet, a cool example of open governance is Fastify. Fastify was created by Matteo at Nearform and Thomas Della Vadova at Elastic. Uh, Matteo has been an active leader in the OpenJS Foundation and the Node.js project. And the OpenJS Foundation has been a huge Fastify champ to help increase, increase the adoption of the project and attract new contributors. And wow, today Fastify has more than 900,000 downloads per month, up from 500,000 a year ago and 187 plugins. And what's really interesting is Matteo said that Fastify started before any lines of code were written. In 2016, he met Thomas who asked how to get started in open source. Matteo asked him if he wanted to start working on a new web framework for Node.js. Fast forward a few years and they have built an amazing open community. At OpenJS, uh, we seek to advance policies where the industry can confidently enter JavaScript's ecosystem um, and one that provides uh, and prioritizes stability and openness in the shared technologies while recognizing the unique needs of individual participants. Um, JavaScript is open and standardized and implemented in all the major browsers. So you'll also see many of our leaders actively participating with international standards development organizations. And you know, historically there were differing views on open source and open standards with the two efforts sometimes perceived to be out of sync. This is definitely not the case today where community silos are nearly erased. 
So hear what our friends have to say from some leading standards development orgs on how our communities are working together to make the web better for all. Thanks, Robin, for inviting me to share my excitement on the partnership between OpenJS and W3C, the web standards body. We both use the power of open source for the benefits of the web and its users. So much web technology, including browser engines, are created in open source. Our collaboration in technology and methodology, bringing people together to enhance the web is critical to our mission at W3C. I cherish our partnership and look forward to increasing it as we attract new diverse web practitioners and work together to address the growing amount of work in front of us. Thank you. Open source projects have a long and successful history collaborating with ECMA TC39, the committee that standardizes the JavaScript language. The communities around jQuery, Node, Webpack, Moment and others have provided meaningful input that has influenced proposals for new language features. As an ECMA member, OpenJS has directly supported this valuable feedback loop between open source projects and standards, empowering maintainers to fully participate in standardization. Both organizations work transparently, in the open, ensuring that all intellectual property is shared with the world, and there is always an open seat at the table. We look forward to improving JavaScript together with OpenJS. So Todd, why don't you tell me, why are IBM and other member companies contributing to the OpenJS Foundation? IBM and our customers and our users uh, today rely upon the open source JavaScript projects hosted at the OpenJS Foundation. There's just no doubt about that. It's in all our economic interests uh, to invest in these technologies. They're essentially the plumbing that creates the opportunity that we all share in. IBM also finds it valuable to be part of the regular convenings of the JavaScript engineering work business, marketing, and legal leaders driving the direction of cloud, web, mobile, and desktop application development, um, including new scenarios uh, where machine learning and AI are now coming to the forefront. Yeah, in at OpenJS world, we are just so excited to hear from more technology leaders and hearing about all of the cool things they're building in, in, in many new ways. Yeah. You know, through the open source work and the open standards, the JavaScript communities are continually iterating on software that powers economies and brings a force for good in global societies. Our friends at NativeScript posted a tweet last year that I believe summarizes and characterizes the culture of open source communities that make up the open source OpenJS Foundation. So you are all invited to join our community at OpenJS. To get involved, go to our website at openjsf.org slash collaboration. Um, join our Slack channel so you can engage with us throughout the year, but especially join us Slacks because today and tomorrow we'll have all of these awesome speakers um, booked up, to, ready to talk to you. Um, they wanna hear your feedback and ideas on how to keep JavaScript booming for the future. So through your participation, we know the best is yet to come as we enter the roaring 20s for JavaScript.